Hello everyone, this is Andrew from Galileo Sky. In our last video of the third lesson series, we'll show you how to use identification in algorithms and also how to finish the driving style control that we started in previous lessons. Driver identification can be used for different purposes, usually to give access to the engine or send IDs to the monitoring software. Let's look at how we can set EasyLogic to give access to the engine start using trusted keys. First, we need to check if trusted key is attached. Trusted keys can be stored in the internal memory of the tracker or on microSD card. In order to check trusted keys from internal memory, we use variable iButtons state. It contains bitmask of attachment sign of trusted keys from 1st to 8th. We don't need to know their position, so we just check whether the state is more than zero. Attachment of the trusted key from microSD card is shown in the second bit of the status variable, according to Galileo Sky protocol description. You can find link for that in the description to this video. In order to check it, we create a variable trust and use mathematics action block. It allows to write into a variable the result of a certain mathematical operation between numbers or other variables. It has 12 different operations. First five are arithmetical, last seven logical. We need a logical operation of comparison that will check that second bit has attached trusted key sign, or in other words, is showing 1. For that, we use existing variable status in the left side. In the right side, decimal number, which has second bit active in it, which is 4. As the operation itself, we choose operation AND. After that, we check if the result saved in the trust variable is more than 0. If no trusted key is attached, we go back to the beginning. If any trusted key is attached, we open an output that controls engine fuel supply. For example, output 0. Next, we add a time limit, during which the driver is allowed to start the engine, by adding a delay block of 1 minute and afterwards checking if the ignition is on. If yes, we add a small delay and keep checking until the ignition is off. Eventually, when ignition turns off, we block the engine, which is out zero, and go back to checking the trusted keys. It's done! Now, in order to turn on the vehicle, driver would need to attach his ID card or key. The ID will be sent to the server. Within four simple videos, we created a full driving style control algorithm, where we use different acceleration and speed variables, set different violation reactions, used custom commands and identification. In our next videos, we will investigate how EasyLogic can work with geofences and internal functional units of the tracker. If you have any questions, write them in the comment section below. Like this video, share it with your clients and colleagues, and subscribe to our channel to get notified about our latest videos. Good luck in creating your own unique solutions!